An incredible story of survival from two young mothers who were in the car with their children during the tornado that hit Spalding County back on January the 12th. A massive tree fell on the Jeep and nearly killed them all. Tonight they're telling their story to Fox 5 Doug Evans. Let's freeze this video clip. The big pine lying across the front seat. Their two children survived unscratched in the back seat. But right there is Mariah pinned against the headrest in the front passenger seat. Liesel had been driving and the pine tree had crashed through the roof and was across her chest. I feel very blessed to be here. I, I feel, I feel blessed. God, number one, God. I was like, God is with us. Here's 11 month old Wren, Mariah's daughter, and Gemma, Liesel's daughter, who turned two the next day. Other motorists and an off-duty police officer would help them escape from the Jeep's back seat and would care for them. Husband. On January 12th, 2023, a line of heavy storms spawning several tornadoes struck our towns here in middle Georgia. After hearing of the family in a Jeep having a tree fall on them while they're driving down the road, leaders of Wicked Jeeps got together and scheduled a charity ride for the family. We were able to bring some food, supplies for the babies, gift cards, and other items that we thought would help them get through this disastrous event in their lives. So we all meet up in Zebulon, Georgia at one of our common meeting places, and we head over to Concord, Georgia to see the families. We all remember the tornadoes on that night. On my Instagram, I posted a video where you could hear the tornadoes passing by. I even got a picture of what I believe to be a tornado trying to form from my back porch. I drive through this same stretch of road where the accident happened every day. On the day of the storms, Racing the approaching storms to get home from work, I only passed through there about a half an hour before the tornado hit. In fact, at the time of editing this video, there are still trees on the side of the road there. My own kids were with their mother in Griffin, where the EF2 tornado made massive damage. You probably saw all that on the news. But fortunately, they were all okay. Several members of Wicked Jeeps suffered damage from the tornadoes. Many of them lost power for several days. But none of us suffered the tragedy that this family did. At the end of this video, I'll play the full unedited clip from Fox 5 News in Atlanta. It's about three minutes long. And if you're watching this on the 1870 Off-Road YouTube page, I'll also post a link to the same video on the Wicked Jeeps YouTube page as well. Well, all right, that's a long enough intro, so here's the video. I'm hiding in the camouflage here. That works out though. All right, Wicked Jeep's at the charity ride over here. Nice park, ready to come in. story of survival from two young mothers who were in the car with their children during the tornado that hit Spalding County back on January the 12th. A massive tree fell on the Jeep and nearly killed them all. Tonight they're telling their story to Fox 5 Doug Evans. 
When you see the video and the pictures, you'd have to agree that it's amazing that anyone survived. Those following close behind the Jeep were able to free the children almost immediately, but it would take rescuers almost two hours to cut out the two moms that were trapped inside and under the tree. And then I heard, audibly heard a crack, and then it immediately went down on us. And that's when I had turned and like, was like trying to shelter the kids. And my mommy mind, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to protect the kids. It was a heroic effort to free Lisa Swenson and Mariah Compline from this Jeep. The two moms were just minutes from home, returning from shopping when the January 12th tornado that hit Spalding County sent pine trees crashing down on top of them. The baby Babies were crying. They were okay. There no glass got on them, no nothing. If I close my eyes, I can kind of see just, it was black when you looked out the windows, it was black and there was stuff hitting the Jeep, just like flying around rocks and debris and stuff. And then that is all I remember. Um, I don't have any recollection of the accident. Let's freeze this video clip. The big pine lying across the front seat. Their two children survived unscratched in the back seat. But right there is Mariah pinned against the headrest in the front passenger seat. Liesel had been driving and the pine tree had crashed through the roof and was across her chest. I feel very blessed to be here. I, I feel, I feel blessed. God, number one, God. I was like, God is with us. Here's 11 month old Wren, Mariah's daughter, and Gemma, Liesel's daughter, who turned two the next day. Other motorists and an off-duty police officer would help them escape from the Jeep's back seat and would care for them. Husbands Landon and Tyler had been nearby and had also been on the roads during the storm. They would wait nervously for the rescue to unfold. Both women were flown to Grady Memorial Hospital in Atlanta with fractures in their necks and other broken bones. They're home now and on the men, alive and grateful. When you wake up, you're like, I am grateful that God let me live another day and our children are here and we're okay. Very thankful between our, our church um, and just family that came all the way down from Minnesota to help us take care of our daughters as we're kind of, you know, we're a little tied up. <laughs> There's a GoFundMe page to help these two young families. We'll have a link to it on our website at fox5atlanta.com. Just look for this story. In Spalding County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.